So this is the problem statement. A certain transmission line has a characteristic impedance of 200 plus J20 ohms and is terminated in the load impedance of 300 plus J30 ohms. So we have to calculate the reflection coefficient and the transmission coefficient. So let me draw the circuit diagram first. This is the circuit diagram. This is the source impedance Zs. This is the load impedance Zl. And this is the characteristic impedance Z0. So let us load, note down those values. So this is the Z0 value. And uh, this is the Zl value. First we need to find the reflection coefficient. So reflection coefficient is a unitless quantity which tells us how much of the power is reflected from load due to the mismatch. So ideally what we want is we want this Zs, Z0 and Zl all three to be matched or same so that there is maximum power transfer. But if you see this image for example let's say this is the system this is the transmitted power Pt into the system and this is the absorbed power by the system and this is the reflected power PR. So P transmitted is equal to P reflected plus P absorbed. So in, in the ideal case uh, we don't want anything to be reflected. We want all the transmitted power to be absorbed by the system or the load which means it is maximum power transfer. But in real world that won't happen. So if you see here ZL and Z0 are different values. So see here ZL and Z0 are not the same values which means there is already a mismatch. So we have to find how much of the power is reflected from the load because of this mismatch and how much of this power gets reflected from the load towards the source. So let's use the formula. So we know that gamma L is equal to ZL minus Z0 divided by ZL plus Z0. So now you substitute the values here. So what you'll get is 100 plus J 10 divided by 500 plus J 50. Now convert this number into a polar form because we want the magnitude of this value, magnitude of the reflection coefficient. So if you convert it into a polar form, what you will get is 0 0.2 with 0 degrees. So the magnitude is magnitude of gamma or gamma L is 0 0.2. So Remember that the magnitude of the reflection coefficient should be between 0 and 1. 0 means no power reflection which means it is very good system and 1 means, an, means that entire power is reflected which is very bad that means there is huge mismatch. So if you look at point 2 that is more closer to 0 so which is a pretty good system and many practical systems are closer to this number. So this is the answer for reflection coefficient. Now let us solve for the transmission coefficient. So let me erase the screen. Now compared to the previous circuit, let me add another transmission line. Now compared to the previous circuit, what we do is we add another transmission line as before. So I will change the notation a little bit. So previously this was our transmission line. So I will call it as Z01 that is the characteristic impedance of the transmission line 1 and this I will call as Z02. So this is the characteristic impedance of the second transmission line that I have added. So now the source will move further to the left. So what we can do is uh, we can apply this equation for the transmission coefficient. We know that the transmission coefficient equation is 1 plus gamma. Okay, But the value that we have is gamma L. 
So, we cannot apply this equation directly without making some assumptions. So, first let us make this assumption that the first transmission line characteristic impedance Z01 is matched to ZL. Thus, there is no reflection from this transmission line to this load. So, there is no reflection because Z01 is matched to ZL. And the second transmission line Z02 is not matched to Z01. So, Z02 is not matched to Z01. And thus, there is some reflection. That means, if the source is giving the incident wave, there is some reflection at this point because this impedance and this impedance are not matched. Now, now let us use this equation and calculate transmission coefficient at this junction. Okay, transmission coefficient is calculated at this junction z is equal to 0 which is 1 plus 0 0.2 which is 1.2. So, what this means is all the signal that is coming from the incident or uh, from the source some of the signal gets reflected here but much more than what is the reflection lot of lot of the signal also goes through this junction and it goes into the next section which is Z01. That means not all the signal is reflected, lot of signal is also transmitted and that value is given by this transmission coefficient which is 1.2. So, obviously we want T to be greater than gamma because we want more signal to be transmitted than reflected.